the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who has taught the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us that by the gift of the same Spirit we may be always truly wise and ever rejoice in His consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Queen, conceive without sin. Pray for us. Praise the Lord, dear friends. Uh, look with me in Gospel of John, chapter 20, verse 28. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. A famous uh, quote, famous verse of the Apostle Thomas, where he's declaring his faith, My Lord and my God. And a whole church is there in India where St. Thomas came and uh, proclaimed the word. And here what's happening is that Thomas is the one, in every family there will be one uh, who would not, who would be away, who would be a little different. Uh, and Thomas was not there with the apostles. Uh, apostles told him that we have seen the Lord Thomas, yet he did not believe. The Lord shows himself only for Thomas, and then comes his confession and declaration of complete surrender, my Lord and my God. And uh, in our life also, when we insist, we may call uh, Thomas as doubting. However, uh, what is uh, what is more to be learned from here is that it's not only doubt, his persistence in seeing the Lord is uh, is uh, insisting that unless I see, and uh, he wants to see because he was one uh, among the apostles that uh, God chose him. He knew his his chosen, and uh, he was there all the three years. He was there all along, and then he missed. Uh, of course, it's his. Um, it's uh, it's on him that he was not there when he was supposed to be there. But then the Lord comes to him and that also shows the mercy of God. From on one hand is Thomas' insistence and his, uh, his deep desire. I want to see the Lord and then the Lord's mercy that even though many uh, would challenge and when I would ask the Lord to show himself. However, for Thomas, uh, the Lord's mercy uh, is... Um, covering him and uh, his mercy is saving him. He doesn't want Thomas to be lost and he just came for Thomas. And so from the Lord's side, uh, his mercy and from Thomas' side after knowing the surrender, all those who know the Lord, you need to surrender. We need to surrender even if you do not understand. Surrender is the best uh, uh, part of obedience where we trust the Lord that He knows the best and He will do the best for us. And He has the blessed plans for me. May this word of God help you to surrender. The Lord be with you, with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.